was a great day in my life. I became a Christian. Two weeks later, the minister called me to his office and said, Ben, now you're a Christian, there is a second blessing for you. And that second blessing is to speak in tongues. And this is in the book of Acts, chapter 2, verse 38. And this is when you know that you do have the Holy Spirit in your life. The evidence is through the speaking in tongues. And then he sat me down and there were several other people there. And he said, now I'm going to say a few words in tongues and you repeat them. And so he said a few words like, and I said, he said, good. Now he said, I want you to speak anything except English. I said, anything except English? He said, yes. So I said, well, you mean like, he said, yes, that's it. So I went and I started going, and he said, that's good. And I went on and on and everybody seemed happy. And now they told me I had the gift of speaking in tongues. So I was really happy about that. Well, I mean, he was teaching me. He knew what he was talking about. At least that's what I thought. And then uh, I learned it would put, they told me it was better to prophesy because someone would get up and speak in tongues. And then he'd say, anybody got the prophecy? And someone would then prophesy a scripture like, yeah, I say unto thee, the fields are white unto harvest and things of that nature. And that's what I went on for four and a half years getting involved. And I decided one day that perhaps I ought to be, because he said it's better to prophesy. And so I learned the scripture and I thought to myself, this is a good scripture. In my father's house, there are many mansions. And if it were not so, I would have told you. And therefore I go to prepare a place for you that where I am there, you may be also. And I thought, one day I'm going to use that. And I remember the fellow in front of me and uh, I, I was watching him. He was a red-haired man and his neck was going red and he started speaking in tongues. And then he, they said, the minister said, anybody got the, the, the uh, prophecy? And I said, yea, I'd say unto thee in my father's house, there are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. And, and so I went on and everybody congratulated me that I had that gift. And so that's how I went on for four and a half years. And then finally, I, I joined the, um, uh, I can't remember now, it was a, a group of Christians uh, and we were meeting and everybody was giving their testimonies. But then, after a while, I thought I started reading the Bible and it just wasn't working out. And I wanted to know why there are four and a half million people in America who speak in tongues and yet we can't find a single person who speaks a language. And nobody could come up with the answer. And then when I studied, uh, I realized that the scriptures are once and all for all being delivered to us. Everything we need is in the Bible. And so eventually I decided to give it up. Friend, look, that's not how you know you have the Holy Spirit. The way you have the Holy Spirit is you read the Bible. And the Bible says, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. And then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, not a gift or the disposition of the Holy Spirit or the Spirit inspired word, but the gift of the Holy Spirit. So brother, repent of your sins, get baptized and become a child of God.